few months uh, forward and what's my experience with the uh, Tesla key fob so I, I like the key fob because I wanted to have something uh, in my hands as well but uh, uh, it'd be cool if the, there was a white key fob uh, but that doesn't matter um, my experience with this is uh, I like it but uh, sometimes I still walk to the door and the car just uh, takes time to wake up from the uh, deep sleep so when you're not using the car for let's say five six hours you walk up to it it needs a little time to communicate with your phone app uh, just to uh, establish communication then it wakes up from the power saving mode and then uh, it registers the key fob uh, your uh, smartphone app and similar uh, what I wouldn't recommend is this Tesla key guard uh, I think that's what Tesla calls it so this little rubber uh, band that with the little keychain well um, it does protect your key fob from getting scratched so iPhone 13 Pro little problem focusing because of the micro lens so because of this key guard uh, it's sometimes harder to hit the buttons and because it's a little bit stiff uh, maybe loosens up a bit but not too much um, today is warm but when it's super cold and your fingers are cold it's really painful to just try to hit this uh, and you can't feel it but uh, if I open it now see it didn't I pressed it I felt like I pressed it but it didn't uh, it's because I didn't press it hard enough so okay this time I did it needs a deep press uh, without this key guard it was really easy to press the plastic because you can feel it it's nice and easy so I would not recommend the Tesla key guard uh, but I would definitely recommend the key fob uh, because it's practical so I've opened the frunk I can press twice as demonstrated to open the uh, rear and I can press it twice to close it let's see if I can press it twice to no, it, I cannot uh, like pause it, but I can also unlock by holding uh, the rear of the charging port. When there's a plug inside that's non-Tesla, you can hold it again to unlock the cable. And you can, I think, hold it to... Actually, no. Uh, it closes automatically. So, you, unfortunately, you cannot close it. If you press it twice, I'm just going to open the... Uh, Oh, you do you can pause it if you press twice so press twice again it's gonna close it down so you have to close this one through the app through the screen or you can do this but it's not recommended to do that uh, too much often so um, I had situations when I had the key fob uh, my key card in my wallet and my uh, smartphone with the app in my pocket I would walk up next to the car or my girlfriend would and it would just be locked uh, especially when the sentry's on but uh, to be fair I think uh, you need to be uh, in fairly close to the car in the geofence zone to uh, in order to, for the car to recognize the key fob uh, it usually works 100% and you don't need to uh, press the uh, you can press twice to unlock or wants to lock again uh, you don't need to do that uh, you can just have the key fob in your pocket and most of the time like your phone app it's going to work but again when the car is in the deep sleep um, it's sometimes not gonna work because uh, the way it's programmed it's see the front bonnet makes some sounds I'll have to check that out in the service but uh, definitely uh, this for me is a recommendation if uh, your phone app is not working all the time for me it was quite annoying and I like to have something in my hands this is just me personally I know some people uh, don't like keys they uh, prefer to have the app but if it's not working all the time this is practical this is also very practical if you're renting your car I'm not and I would never do that but if you are it's a lot easier to give the uh, people who are in renting your car the key fob because the key fob uh, 
you don't have to walk up to the car with a key card press it on the b pillar and then press it uh, put it inside the car because otherwise you can't uh, use anything then uh, if you're with a two people then they have to share the card it's just easier to give someone the key fob so uh, that's it that's the key fob uh, review